employed at Yellow Book here in Cedar Rapids as a Human Resources Director. My husband Mike and I live in Ryan, Iowa. And we have two children, Kylie is 15 and Cooper who, who is 11. When I'm not working or spending time with my family, you can find me planning events, fundraising, or granting wishes for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, or figuring out ways to teach youth about all the ways they can make a difference in their community. Four years ago, I partnered with Patty Shutta, who I work with at Yellow Book, and United Way to start the Pace Center Youth Camp. The Pace Center Youth Camp is a one-week camp which te teaches youth about community issues and how everyone can make a difference regardless of their age or how much money they have. We spend the week touring and do doing various volunteer activities at various agencies. It costs $130 to attend the camp for a week, and we run this camp on a very low budget. I mean, seriously, some days the kids eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch. They have plenty to eat, but we run it on a very low budget. On Thursday of the camp, we show the kids our budget. This is what it costs to come to the camp. Like I said, it's $130 per camper per week. This is what we spent, so here's all of our expenses. And then the best part, this is the money that we have left over that we're gonna to give to all of you, and based on everything that you've learned about all of the agencies in the community, how do you wanna reinvest the money? It's so awesome to see it all click and come together with those kids. The letters and evaluations that we receive from the parents and the kids at the end of the camp are priceless. By just taking the time to spend the time, we're giving our children the tools to become future community leaders. Our kids look up to us. If they see us taking the time to spend the time, they're gonna do the same thing. My kids absolutely love softball and baseball. They both play the sport pretty much year round. We have met some incredible people who will be lifelong friends and we've created lasting family memories through baseball and softball. These, these sports have absolutely taught my kids that working hard pay, pays off and I'm really glad that they're involved. I did, however, have a conversation with both of them recently to reiterate the fact that they'll likely never make any money playing sports. And after my 11 year old looked at me and said, and when I do mom, I'm not sharing. <laughs> um, I just reiterated to them that most will never remember how well they hit the ball or all of the great defensive plays that they make. People will however remember if, it's, if you take the time to give back and the impact that you make as a result of doing so. This summer, in addition to playing ball, I suggested that they give back in some way. As a result, they created Ryan to the Rescue and collected almost 3,000 pounds of items to send to the victims of the Joplin tornado. Both of them would agree that they felt better about what they did for Joplin than about any or softball, baseball, or baseball play that they've ever made. Just this week, I was elected for a seat on the West Delaware School Board. During my campaign, I conducted a lot of research and learned a lot about the education system. I recently read some statistics and was saddened to learn that Americans today are less likely to earn a diploma than their parents. In Cedar Rapids, there's a persistent achievement gap between low-income students and their high-income peers. In kindergarten, only half of low-income kindergartners are proficient in early literacy skills. Many will never catch up. In fourth grade, 64% of low-income students are proficient in reading. And in eighth grade, 54% of low-income students are proficient in reading. Research indicates that adults working with kids of all ages, from early years through high school, can help increase academic achievement. Reading, tutoring, and mentoring can play an important role in increasing academic success, success and engagement in learning. Locally, United Way of East Central Iowa and community partners are setting a, gro a goal to recruit 500 people to pledge their support. And it looks like we have a pretty good start here in this room this morning. I feel that we as adults have an obligation to give children the tools and self-confidence to be successful adults. So today, you're all here and you're gonna hear about what are best practices when working with youth. You're gonna hear about the America Reads Project on October 20th and 21st and the Iowa Coaches Mentoring Challenge. Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas are all competing to recruit the most new members. You're also gonna have the opportunity to visit with partners and learn more about what you can do to make a difference in the life of a child and in this community for years to come. Thank you for taking the time to be here. Now I'm going to introduce Marsha Hughes. 
Marsha is the Community Relations Supervisor for the Cedar Rapids School District. In her role, she manages the district's volunteer services program, including some 7,000 registered volunteers contributing at 33 schools. It's a big job. Marsha also serves as the Metro Chairperson of the America Reads Reading is a Contagious program. Please welcome Marsha Hughes.